How to patch concrete. From beginning to end, the process is simple. First, you need to clean the existing concrete. You can do this with a pressure washer, you can manually scrub it with something like a wire brush, or more commonly in the concrete industry, you would use a, a mild muriatic and water solution to help clean away that concrete and burn off any calcium or any loose Portland cement deposits that are still left over there. If there's any kind of debris or oil or grease or contamination or calcium or anything in between the old concrete and the new concrete, it's not going to patch properly. So the first step is cleaning the existing concrete using a seven part water to one part muriatic acid solution. Put that in a plastic sprinkling can, pour it on the, the area that you need to patch, let that bubble and fizz for just a minute, rinse it off, neutralize, and now you're ready to patch with new concrete. However, you don't just want to patch yet. You could, in theory, just go ahead and put some new concrete down, and it actually probably would adhere pretty well but there's something that you can do to improve that, and that would be to make a bonding slurry. If you make a bonding slurry first, which is something that you would mix with Portland cement, water, and white glue, mix those three components together until they're the consistency of about warm butter, and the amount of each that you would use be, would be approximately equal amounts of each. Now, it's not something that's written in stone. You have to use three parts this and two, mix all three together approximately equal proportions until you have something that is approximately the consistency of warm butter, then use a paintbrush and you just paint that right onto the area that is to be patched. Once you put that bonding slurry on, you can apply your new concrete over top and you will achieve approximately an 80% mechanical bond between the new concrete layer and the old concrete layer. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.